Okay everyone, let's take a look at chapter 15, reversing motors. Manual starters are used in pairs to reverse three phase, single phase, and DC motors. Mechanical interlock devices are inserted between the two starters to ensure both switching mechanisms cannot be energized at the same time. A wiring diagram illustrates the electrical connections necessary to properly reverse a three phase motor using a manual reversing starter. When using a manual reversing starter to reverse a three phase motor, line one is connected to T1, line two is connected to T2, and line three is connected to T3. For forward rotation, line one is connected to T3, line two is connected to T2, and line three is connected to T1 for reverse rotation. A wiring diagram illustrates the electrical connections necessary to properly reverse a single phase motor using a manual reversing starter. To reverse the direction of a single phase motor, the direction of current through the starting windings is reversed. A DC series motor is wired to a starter so that A2 is positive and A1 is negative when the forward contacts are closed, and A2 is negative and A1 is positive when the reverse contacts are closed. A wiring diagram is used to properly wire a DC shunt motor for reversing. A DC compound motor is wired to a starter so that A2 is positive when A1 is negative when the forward contacts are closed, and A2 is negative and A1 is positive when the reverse contacts are closed. A wiring diagram is used to properly wire a DC permanent magnet motor for reversing. Reversing motors using drum switches. A drum switch is a manual switch with moving contacts mounted on an insulated rotating shaft. A three-phase motor may be connected to the contacts of a drum switch to change the direction of rotation from forward to reverse. A single-phase motor may be connected to the contacts of a drum switch to change the direction of rotation from forward to reverse. A drum switch may be connected to change the direction of rotation of any DC series, shunt, compound, or permanent magnet motors. Reversing motors using magnetic starters. A magnetic reversing starter has forward and reverse coils which replace the push buttons of a manual starter and auxiliary contacts that provide additional electrical protection and circuit flexibility. A magnetic reversing starter may be controlled by the forward and reverse push buttons. Although most magnetic reversing starters provide mechanical interlock protection, some circuits are provided with a secondary backup system that uses auxiliary contacts to provide electrical interlocking. Push button interlocking uses both normally open and normally closed contacts mechanically connected on each push button. A control circuit can be used to control different motor types such as single phase motors, DC motors, and three phase motors. Magnetic reversing starter applications. A start stop reverse circuit with indicator lights enables the operators to know the direction of rotation of a motor at any time. Limit switches may be used to provide automatic control of reversing circuits. Limit switches may be used in a circuit to provide over travel protection. A selector switch and a basic start stop station can be used to reverse a motor. A jogging circuit allows the operator to start a motor for short times without memory. Motor control wiring methods. In direct hard wiring, the power circuit and the control circuit are wired point to point. In direct hardwired circuits, circuit modifications may require the removal and or addition of circuit wiring. When hardwiring a circuit using a terminal strip, each wire in the control circuit is assigned a reference point on the diagram to identify the different wires that connect the components in the circuit. Terminal strips and wire reference numbers enable easy circuit modification because most wires required to make a change are disconnected and reconnected at the terminal strip. Troubleshooting reversing power circuits. Troubleshooting reversing power circuits normally involves determining the point in the system where power is lost. When troubleshooting reversing control circuits, a line diagram is used to illustrate circuit logic and a wiring diagram is used to locate the actual test points at which a digital multimeter is connected. All right, everyone, that was it for that session. Next session will be timing and counting functions, and I will see you over there.